Yo, what is up guys, Johnny Geiger here. Today I'm gonna teach you how to laser flip. To be honest, I never thought this was going to happen since I've been struggling with that trick forever, but I finally figured it out. A trick tip on the laser flip has been requested forever and this finally gave me the motivation to learn that trick proper. One thing you need to know about this trick first, it is difficult. Not a lot of skaters can do that trick and this for a reason. It quite took me some time to figure out how to front tray shop and throw a heel flip in there. I mean, it's like such a cool looking trick. I've been trying this trick like once a year and every time I did the same mistake and I practiced that over and over again. This time I went for it with a different approach and it happened like boom. You can tell I'm stoked on it and now it's my duty to teach you everything I know about laser flips. With the right approach, you can make it happen, but there are some requirements. First, you definitely need to know how to heel flip. You need to know how to varial heel flip. The first step of learning that trick is to make sure to have all of these tricks on lock. You don't necessarily need to know how to front tray shove. I actually cannot do this trick consistent. But listen, very important right here, you need to know how to scoop your board. We've been talking about the scoop before. We use it on like impossible, on hard flips and the list goes on. In case you want to get better at those tricks, I got all of them covered, almost. I'm currently working on a very heel flip trick tip. Uh, I don't know why the laser flip is gonna come out first. Well, here we go with the foot positioning. So, the back foot. We gotta place it right here. Okay, at the very edge of your board, right here. I prefer to have it angled like this. I really want to feel that edge of my board with my toes because we gotta put a lot of force into that. More about this later, let's talk about the front foot. I prefer to have it like this, hanging over the edge. I wanna have it straight. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can angle it as well, like this. Jeez. Like this, but that just feels kind of weird to me. So I like to have it straight. My heel is inside of the board. I'm pretty sure you can make it happen like this as well. Whatever feels and works better for you. In some other trick tips, I've seen people that have their front foot more to this side of the board, but I actually prefer to put it further back. And I'm gonna explain to you why I prefer that later in this video. So we get that foot position. Now it's gonna get tricky on the back foot. We need a lot of force in this direction. You see in that recording, like my back foot really kicks in front of me. And the scoop on that trick is crazy. I mean, look at the ground. There were like marks from all the attempts. Now it's getting like crazy while we're doing that. Our front foot needs to be involved as well. And we're gonna flick. And here comes the mistake I've been doing for like years. I was tending to flip in that direction, right here. And that actually does not make a lot of sense. So my new approach to the trick was scoop it like crazy and flip it in this direction, okay? Also make sure you're gonna do that flick. Your foot shouldn't just go out straight. Now you need that flick, okay? I like to think that I push this foot a little bit down into the board to actually make it flip and to make sure that I'm gonna hit that edge like somewhere in this area. It's actually kind of hard to tell because everything happens so fast. There's like a lot of power in both foots. The timing needs to be perfect. Like push it down, flick it. Like scoop and flip almost at the same time. This is key on that trick. 
and that's hard to do, it needs practice, it's probably not gonna happen overnight, but I'm absolutely sure you can make it happen, but you just gotta believe in yourself and be willing to put in some work on that one. So the convenient thing on tray flips, you throw it in front of you, and in front of you, but the laser flip goes slightly behind. If you scoop it really well, it stays almost in the same place. But still, it is moving a little bit. That means on the laser flip, you kind of gotta lean back. No, like that is what the upper body is supposed to do. Don't worry about that too much. Just make sure to lean back a little. If you lean back too much, you're gonna fall behind. Happened to me more than a few times. Let's continue talking about the things that can go wrong on that one. Another thing I figured learning that trick is once you get that like spin and flip perfect, it's kind of hard to lean like uh, in this direction forward. You just land and slip out because you're leaning back too much. And here's how I fix these kind of problems. It also works on tray flips, like pay attention right now. I'm gonna try to explain this as well as possible. If you're gonna place your foot somewhere in this area, you get a lean back when you pop. What I mean by lean back right now, it's you lean towards the tail. Your body weight is over there to make the flip happen perfect. Now if you pop, you're gonna lean back already. And that means before you land, you gotta lean towards the nose to have it well balanced, you know? That also goes for tray flips. If you place it like this, you just gotta lean back more if you wanna get that proper flip. Now, I fix this problem by putting my foot further back, which makes it possible for me to lean over my board, lean more towards the nose, and when I land, I'd rather have my body weight over the nose. That's why I prefer to put my front foot further back. I hope this makes sense to you guys. I know it's a little bit confusing, but it's actually how the physics of skateboarding work, as far as I can tell. So that's the way to go. Other things that can happen, you might not getting the 360 degree spin, more like 300 degrees or you even overspin it. It actually took me more than a few tries to figure out like the right amount of force you want to put in that back foot. And of course it can also happen that you not flip the board enough or that you over flip it. I think less flip is the more common case. So just make sure to have that flick like well in this direction. Make sure to hit that edge, have the right timing. You know, like there's like so many things to focus on, but the persistence is gonna pay off one day. And another good thing about the trick, as always, you can practice it with just one foot. So here we go again, as so many times before, we're getting our front foot used to that movement. I was just setting up focus on the flick and boom, get a perfect laser flip, like the no comply version of it and repeat this over and over again. Your muscle memory is gonna start working on it. And of course, committing to the trick is always a little bit of a different story, but it's good to have like the basic movement of the trick already in that muscle memory. It's what I do a lot and I actually learned a lot of tricks a lot of flat ground tricks and it works, guaranteed. This is also gonna make it easier for you to commit to the trick. I know like it's kind of scary like to jump on a board that is spinning like 360 degrees and flipping heel direction. But by repeating this over and over again, your brain is getting used to it. That is smart. And we wanna have a smart learning strategy in school, especially in skateboarding, wherever, whatever we learn, we wanna have the best approach towards. That was a lot of information on laser flips. Now, I would not recommend to learn this trick still standing. Like still standing, it feels to me like you even gotta put more force into that tray shot. So rolling up slowly will be the best approach. And as always, I will mention this every time. Good things take a while. Do not get frustrated if this is not gonna happen overnight. Like uh, it took me 16 years more or less to figure out that trick. Perfect, but I wasn't working on it a lot either. So it's possible for you too to learn that trick. Don't lose hope and faith, go for it. Every time you go skate with that positive mindset, if you can actually make it happen, of course you're gonna make mistakes, but you're able to do it. Like I believe in you. And even if you can't figure it out, you're just gonna go back to the heel flips, to the very heel flips. You're not gonna learn how to frontside tray shove and gonna go back to the trick 
add some other point in your skate life. And one day, just like me, you're gonna set up to the trick and you have that feeling that you now finally understood it and you're gonna land it. You're gonna roll away, you're gonna smile, you're gonna have an awesome day. And right now I wanna give you my last tip on that one. If you have the opportunity, record yourself with the phone, preferably slow motion. You're gonna compare how your laser flips look like with the ones of Yoshi Tannenbaum or with my laser. And you're gonna see, oh, my foot is gonna go in this direction. That cannot be right. So I might gotta do it like Yoshi and go like this. And it's gonna work. Fantastic, love it. And this is also the end of this video. I'm glad we finally covered that trick. Laser flip, thank you so much. This was only possible with the help of you guys. It is such a pleasure to teach you guys how to skate. And of course, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment. What do you want to learn next? I, I finally covered the laser flip. Uh, I'm listening to you guys. So let me know in the comment section if you want to support me. There are some links in the description of this video. Also, what else? Nothing else. Skateboard. This is the best. Okay. Goodbye.